This video will show you how I've turned a regular Windows PC into a link room system. Follow the basic deployment guide for the link room systems, then create group policies so that the system will stay on all the time, no power management, auto logs in with the link room system account. Here you can see the link room system policy that I created. It's both a computer policy and user policy because the computer account and the link room system account are in the same OU container. The computer preferences basically tell it to use a default username, default password, auto login, domain name because it is joined to our domain, login count, login checked. Basically stuff that you have to set up. They're all registry settings. Found those work better because you can maintain it and update it. Since creating this policy, I found another way to store the password in the system so you don't have to have your password in plain text. Below that, we've got user configuration. So when this LRS system logs in, it'll automatically start up with that link resource account. And you can see we changed the shell here so that only link would run. And then below that we've got some user power options basically so the system won't shut off, doesn't prompt for a password. So just imagine that this is actually what you're seeing on the computer screen. It boots up, logs in. The group policy forces only the link client to load, no explorer. You do have the option of opening up the task manager and then starting explorer to do tweaks in the background. Perfect for testing. Uh, for final deployment, I would recommend disabling task manager and any other programs you don't want them to use. So I'll just minimize my little link client for now. Here we have a meeting invite ready to be set up. So I'll just send it to the test account. Basically following the directions in the link room deployment guide, I can just click on rooms, select our link demo room, say OK. I'll automatically add it as a second contact. And it says this room is a link room. So basically you should change it into a link meeting. I'll click the link meeting button. And it'll take a few minutes to talk to the exchange, set it up. There we go. Got everything set up. And I'll just type in here test meeting and put in the subject as well. And we can then hit send. Here you can see that the meeting has been accepted by the link room account. So now if I want to just start the meeting, I can go over here to the meeting, join the meeting. There we go. And now if I click on the calendar to see the schedule, oh, there we go. So on the link room system, they would just go up to the computer, click on the little calendar icon, double click on the meeting, and it'll set it up for us. Takes a few minutes. Okay, so as you can see, it says my mic is muted. I says, if you want to adjust the link audio, are you in the link room? No. I found if you click no, then it'll automatically turn on the microphone for you. If you click yes, it'll mute everything. For the end user, when they join the meeting from a remote location, it asks you the same thing. Do you want to adjust the link room audio? Are you in the link room? If you're not, you're not in the link room, so you say no, and it'll automatically enable your microphone for you. You can see my end of it, so I'm just going to mute my microphone so we don't get back feed. Well, Glenn is now joining. And if we go back to our link room demo, there we go. You can see me when I was all clean shaven. 
and if I want to start some content here, I'm just going to start a whiteboard. What you're seeing now is what the people using the link room system would be seeing. And we can maximize this. Basically, it interacts the same as a normal link client. And then if the link room hangs up, the meeting will still go on as long as there's someone in it. Is now exiting.